As a product team, you often need to define the product strategy for the next few years. This topic generally sparks conflicts in the industry, as many teams think that to stay agile, they shouldn't plan long term. However, without delving into that discussion, the goal here is to define the vision and priorities based on the problems your product team and organization want to focus on. Of course, things will change, but without a strategic plan, it will be even harder to prioritize the problems you want to solve in the next two months. Anyway, if this isn't interesting to you, you can skip this video. If you want to learn more, feel free to stay. In this video, I will share a basic framework that will help you define your product strategy. I won't touch on the research side of things much because we have a video for that. This will be more focused on the strategic plan to grow and validate your initiatives. It includes two main milestones and then six different sessions. You can add more, remove, or adapt it to the way you work. This is just a skeleton to get things moving. Step one is to define the vision. This can be provided by your executive team. Often, they can provide the objectives and key metrics affecting your team next year. You will add that here and include links so everyone can access it. Next, you need to define your buyer and user personas. If you have multiple add multiple sessions, you probably have that already done, but I recommend reviewing and updating this every year. It can look like this. From those personas, identify your early adopter. Who is that person and what characteristics will make them try everything and be super excited about your solution? This is probably the type of person you can invite to feedback sessions and also keep in mind when growing your product. Now we move into milestone two. Gather some market research. Try to understand what is happening in the world that could influence your product. Almost like Pestel and SWOT analysis together, this section will look like this or something like this. Please remember to add all your conclusions and highlights to the conclusion section, so this is easily accessible later. Now you move into a bit of competitive research. Define what type of resources and the direction of your main competitors here by trying to understand if they are getting more funding, what type of people they are hiring, and what their approach is in product. Next, Select one or two competitors that will be the ones you are more closely competing with and try to map out their strategy. This should be done with the marketing team. Now move into all the business stuff. Maybe this can just be provided by the executive team or you can discuss it with them. I am not going to go into details here, but things that need to be clear to everyone in the team should be the business model, the value proposition, and the product vision. I also like to have another board with all the ideas you collected in the last few months, organized to be able to know which ones seem to be important or relevant based on the objectives you have and what you know now. Finally, the strategy and the product roadmap here, you may fill out these sections if people are invited to a workshop to discuss this with you so they can easily see that. Otherwise, you can add a link. It is important that you define the value proposition and then from that, you try to think about what is your secret sauce. Why would someone choose you that is unique to your product, brand, or team? This is an exercise that often can be done with other departments as your secret sauce doesn't always depend on the product. It could be about people or processes or the business model itself. The innovation can be defined in multiple ways. Now, define your strategy and action plan in Section 4. In general, this is how you can define the strategy. As you see, I am proposing a very draft-like and flexible space, almost good for discussions, instead of a document. Of course, if you want to write a proposal in a document, that can be done after. Remember to add all final decisions to conclusions. Next, 
define the roadmap. Again, here the goal is not to have a roadmap with tickets in Jira. Here, the goal is to have initial solutions in a timeline to help you have a discussion about prioritization and the problems that are important to your organization right now. I personally use colors to organize our roadmap based on features that are expected, so must haves, versus the ones that are nice to have or help us support our value proposition. Also, I recommend thinking about the solution on this roadmap as placeholders. What I mean by that is that that is the first solution the team thought about. But our goal is to solve the problem that solution is trying to solve and to be able to make a decision on if that solution is the right one or not. You will have to work with your team to define that problem further and that initiative. So things on this board are good for discussions. There are other recommendations in this workflow but it's up to you what you want to include here. Again, this is just the skeleton of the process that you can follow. It really helps provide clarity between all team members and kind of get things started. The best part is that as decisions are made, you can visually track progress and also access the report and view which decisions are made over time. Let us know if you have any questions or visit our website for more information. Thank you for watching.